Hey there. I know it's been a few days since we've recorded any content. Ian recorded roughly two hours of footage and, well, technical difficulties, uh, we lost all of it. So, yeah. Today I'll be doing a review of a comic I found at Dragon's Lair Comics, our local comic book shop here in Austin. The comic is Shade the Changing Girl. I am a huge fan of the 90's Shade the Changing Man, which was a Gitco character, and I was surprised to see that they're doing a new series. Um, with all the reboots DC has had since that one, and that having been a Vertigo series, I was kind of wary to see where they would take it. Is it a reboot, or what? Um, no, actually it turns out it is mostly a sequel to the 90's Shade the Changing Man comics. Shade has recently shown up in Justice League Dark and in a part of the Flashpoint thing of uh, Secret Seven, both of which I own because Shade the Changing Man is probably my favorite comic book series. So I was reluctant with this again because I wasn't sure how good it would be and I'm totally ready to judge it super harshly. Um, plot is basically Loma, an avian alien from the planet Meta, envies Shade and wanted to be a Shade recruit. The comic doesn't explain what those are, other than that they were the followers of Rack Shade, Shade the Changing Man from the original series. So they basically break into an Earth museum, or a museum about Earth culture on Meta, and steal Shade's, Shade's Madness coat. I know it's supposed to be the Madness vest, like the M vest, but I'm willing to say that over the amount of time, Shade's Madness probably sank into the coat and affected it. So, whatever. Um, Loma uses this to possess the body of a comatose 16 year old girl on Earth and assume her life. This series is part of DC's new Young Animal imprint, which I'm not quite sure what it means. To me, it kind of sounds like a, um, a mature line, kind of like Vertigo, but more tied in with the mainstream DC universe kind of like Vertigo was when it started with Swamp Thing and uh, Sandman. I say it's a more mature line because the reason the girl is in a coma is a drug overdose. And the, the art is very well done. It's as trippy and surreal as I was hoping given how crazy the art in the original series got. And this story, I'm really curious to see where they take it. Um, any backstory about the Shade recruits, um, what happened to him, they described uh, Rack Shade as a washed up poet. You can just see where that goes. And kind of curious to see where they go with the 16 year old girl angle. The original series involved a serial killer, is the body that he possessed, so a little different. I'm not going to do a X out of 10 style rating, but I will say I definitely recommend picking this one up. It's different, it's very interesting, and if you like strange art, go for it. Again, my comic is Shade the Changing Girl. That's all. Hey, Scorch.